The one game tenure for Steve Sarkeesian, his offensive coordinator at Alabama, is over. He's off to the NFL and the Atlanta Falcons to play matchup X's and O's with the likes of Matt Ryan and Julio Jones and company. So offensive coordinator status wide open for the Crimson Tide. And uh, we've got um, a number of candidates out there. Chip Kelly, for as fun as it is to speculate, he has silenced the the speculation there by saying, no, I am not coming to Alabama. I would like to stay in the NFL. So, Stephen, your thoughts about uh, this open position where on the plus side, you've got the likes of Jalen Hurts at quarterback to mold. And, of course, you've got all the talent on that side of the football. But then on the downside, you got to deal with Nick Saban. you got to please the coach and make him happy. And that wasn't necessarily the case with Steve Sarkeesian in his one game audition or in the latter stages for Lane Kiffin. Not just please the coach, Mark. you got to please the fan base. <laughs> you got to please those 101,825 fans that sit in Brian Denny Stadium every Saturday. But getting back to the point at hand, it's It's crazy. Sarkeesian, you really thought that he would stick around, but uh, according to reports, he and the Atlanta Falcons have been in conversations about this since the winter. Uh, Kyle Shanahan taking over for Chip Kelly, who was fired from San Francisco. Congrats to Kyle Shanahan. Congrats to uh, Steve Sarkeesian for getting that spot to fill in for the Falcons. So when you look at Alabama, the number one name, due to the fact that Saban loves to handle things internally, He's not going to tell you who he's hiring. I, I believe if, if Nick Saban won the lottery, he wouldn't even tell his wife that he won. Miss Terry would probably have to find out from the media. So with that being said, the number one name for Nick Saban, I think it's Mike Loskley, the offensive analyst that Alabama brought on from Maryland. Of course, Loskley has 20 years, 20 plus years of offensive experience that dates back to 1996 where he was the wide receiver and tight ends coach for the Army Knights, the Naval Prep School, the military prep school. So he spent time at Army and Florida, Maryland, Illinois, and New Mexico. So he's bounced around. But he's produced a lot of big names. At Illinois, Juice Williams at quarterback, a 3,000-yard pass from 2008. Aurelius Bend at wide receiver, a 1,000-yard guy in 2008. Uh, for the Maryland Terps, he produced Stephon Diggs, older, bo older brother of Alabama's Trayvon Diggs. Stephon Diggs, now the National Football League with the Minnesota Vikings. So Lasky's produced some talent. He was made the co-offensive coordinator for Alabama prior to Sarkeesian leaving. So the most logical explanation would be to bump him up. If not that, the successor to uh, Chip Kelly at Oregon, Mark Helfrich, would be an ideal name. Helfrich, his career as a head coach, not the same numbers as Kelly. Chip Kelly as a head coach at Oregon, 46 and 7. Mark Helfrich, 37 and 16. Mark Helfrich's first two years, though, uh, great years. His second year, 2014, if we all remember, was 11 and 3. Well, not 11 and 3, 13 and 11 and 2, if I'm not mistaken. Got to the college football playoff, was a semifinalist before dropping to Ohio State in the national championship game. So he also helped produce Marcus Mariota, made him a 4,000-yard passer in 2014, 42 touchdowns, only four picks. Mariota now in the National Football League with the Tennessee Titans. So Helfrich is definitely a name out there. George Gosley, who served under Bill Belichick with the New England Patriots as a tight ends coach. Bill O'Brien for the Houston Texans as an offensive coordinator and quarterback coach and his collegiate experience with Central Florida University, University of Central Florida with George O'Leary from 2004 to 2010. Uh, Gosley has a lot of experience with quarterbacks, with wide receivers, with offense, with, uh, with tight ends. So he's got a lot of that offense to paralysis there. Good friends with former Central Florida offensive line coach and current Alabama offensive line coach Brent Key. So gossip has been thrown in there. Another name that I would love to see Bama go after, it's been thrown in the pot, highly unlikely, but a name I want to see Bama go after is Lincoln Riley of Oklahoma. His entire career has been in the Big 12, whether it's been under Mike Leach at Texas Tech or Bob Stoops at Oklahoma. Lincoln Riley yet to win a national championship. A strong recruiter, great with quarterbacks. We saw what he did with Graham Harrell at Texas Tech. 
We see what he's doing with Baker Mayfield in Oklahoma. I think he can do the very same things in Alabama with a Jalen Hurts or a Tua Tagovailoa, whoever comes out the victor of this quarterback job in spring ball, summer camp, fall practice. But right now, Michael Oskley, the ideal name to be bumped up, if not Mark Helfrich, Lincoln Riley, George Gosley. The next offensive coordinator at Alabama obviously has extremely high expectations to match the offensive output that we've seen in recent years with a power running game, but uh, keeping those wide receivers healthy and happy in uh, putting up big numbers as well and big plays downfield while also developing one in Jalen Hurts. That has to be priority number one, but at the same time, there is so much talent there that it has to be an offensive coordinator's dream. Uh, Stephen M. Smith from Touchdown Alabama breaking down the tide as he does with us each and every Wednesday night. Stephen, we appreciate it. No problem, Mark. Uh, don't have too much fun in that snow now. Don't have too much fun out there. <laughs>